Hey everybody. So, after you install your new Roku, you have to set up channels, public channels, like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. The question is, how do you activate those? How do you program them into your Netflix so that they are working for you when you want to watch your favorite show? Come along. I'll show you how to do that. We'll have yours up and running in no time. Okay. Remember there are two types of channels on Roku. There are private channels and public channels. We're going to work on the public channels, which are located in the channel store on your Roku. All you have to do is go down one notch, you'll see channel store, click on it. It's grouped. The different channels are all grouped into multiple categories. We'll look at featured first. And in the featured category you have everything from PBS to Amazon Instant. These are the channels that Roku uh, really wants to promote. Uh, we'll take a look at a couple of them here. Remember there are two flavors of public channels. There are free. Uh, this one here is free as an example. Uh, so is uh, um, Crackle. They don't cost anything. You can watch the content at no cost. Then there's subscription like Timeless Tunes. $1.99 a month and you can watch all those cartoons you grew up with from Prince Planet to uh, to uh, Roger the Rabbit. <laughs> Fox Business is a free channel. So you can see there's quite a selection under featured. Let's jump out of this and go back into the channel store and look at uh, the most popular channels. These are the ones that are most often added by people. And again, you'll see some similarities like Netflix. You can see that little check mark in the lower right hand corner. That means I've already added them. But I want to add uh, Weather Underground real quick. Uh, what this is is a channel that tells you your local weather by zip code. All you do is click on it and click Add Channel. Uh, once you do that, a screen will come up saying it's adding the channel. And then from here you could go to the channel, remove the channel, or rate the channel. When you're talking about a free channel, it's that easy to add it. Subscription channels, you'll often have to get an account online before you can do that. I want to also add PopFlix. This is a great channel. Uh, this particular channel shows you all those, mo uh, all those series on television that were just moving into reruns when I was a kid, like the Beverly Hillbillies and Bonanza uh, and the... Lucy show. Great shows. You don't have to deal with commercials. You don't have to uh, hope to find them. You can always just jump on PopFlix and find them at any time you want. So get out there. Do some exploring. Take a look at the channel list. They're always adding new things to the channel store and I think you'll find something out there that makes you happy no matter who you are ranging from uh, the old horror flicks to the drive-in movies. Well, like I said, that wasn't too hard to do. Basically, what I did with Netflix, you can do with Amazon Prime, you can do with Hulu Plus, uh, and Crackle, any of the public channels. Next time, we'll take a look at how to get private channels up and running. Take care till then.